Hi everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, it's time we talk about Garchomp. Garchomp got some amazing buffs in this last update, and while one of its abilities has been nerfed kind of already, Garchomp is in such a good place in this game right now. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm so happy that Garchomp is crushing it right now. It's truly, I think, an A-tier pick inside this game. Amazing, amazing Pokemon. I'm gonna go through some of its changes for you here and I'll show you a few games with Garchomp. Here I am over on UniteDB.com. I just wanna show you a few things that are different with Garchomp here. So it's, it's kind of everything by the way, but now Dig gives you this awesome defense increase. It used to be bigger, but your special defense and your defense goes up when you land Dig on an enemy here. So. That's pretty huge at this point. It just sets you up in such a good position to brawl with this character, which is what you wanna do with Garchomp. You wanna get in there and continue fighting. So you're gonna see in this video a dig earthquake build. Uh, in this build, I'm going to you know, engage with that dig and then I'm gonna use earthquake to slow everyone. I'm also gonna use slow smoke as well to make it just more difficult for them to leave. I'll probably let one of the two slow effects dissipate before I use the other, but the idea here is just have this area that I am brawling in that they are really, really annoyed about. The slow gets better once it upgrades, and then um, dig, the knockup becomes kind of nutty <laughs> once it upgrades. The other build I'm gonna use is my personal favorite. It's the Dragon Rush build, although I will say dig is so good right now. Dragon Rush, you really control the battlefield a lot, so you push people where you want them to be. And then you can do the same thing a little bit with Claw. You can also combo the two moves together. So there's a stun. Now Dragon Rush, kind of similar to Dig, uh, you reduce damage taken by 35%. I don't know the exact equivalent of these two numbers. I don't know which one actually reduces it more, but just in general, both of them reduce damage when you're engaging with these moves. And then Dragon Claw here, uh, I think has mostly been the same, but it slows or something now, right? First attack deals damage, pushes. The second attack deals increased damage in a range. Oh yeah, it increase while when using Dragon Rush combo, it increases the slow. So it does slow enemies. Um, I personally like the Dragon build better, but we're going to be showing off both of them. And again, what a time to play Garchomp. If you've been wanting to play Garchomp, now's the time, because it's so, so good right now. I am heading into the jungle with Garchomp here. I'm so glad I noticed I was not recording. I was talking to you guys. I was like, I'm going Dig. I'm going Earthquake. Here's my plan. And, uh, I was not recording. So heading into the jungle with Garchomp here. We've got Absol, I believe, in the top lane with Pikachu, Wigglytuff, Venusaur in the bottom lane here. I'm going to be using that Dig build, not my personal favorite. My personal favorite is is the uh, dragon build, but Dig gives you that nice uh, bonus of defense and special defense. So I'm going to try to use that to uh, engage and then use my slow smoke and kind of set myself up in a way where I can really fight the enemy super hard. I'll, I'm gonna see which lane I feel like I have a better chance of doing that in, and then that'll be the lane I gank here. Let me see here. Top is Snorlax, Talon. So Talon can kind of get away from me pretty easily. Bottom is Wiggly, Vino. It's a mirror. Hmm. Snorlax, the nice thing about Snorlax is I think he might want to fight with me. Talon, I kind of, I KO pretty fast. I'm going to head to the top lane here. The other thing that could happen going top is uh, I could get the enemy jungler because that's the natural rotation for the other side, I believe, would be to go top. So that might actually be really good for us. It just gives us, you know, a little, little more fight. Here I am. Hopefully they pull back a little bit here and then I can grab something. He knows. All right. It's no man's land for Snorlax right here. He's gone. It's about as good as that's gonna go for us right now. I'm gonna score and then leave. I might try to mess with some of their farm. Nobody's gonna go for it. Talent evolved. You're lucky, buddy. Oh no, what's happening? Bottom lane is taking all my jungle? Why? Guys. Why? 
That's so frustrating. Why are they doing that? Don't do that. What is that about? Well, that's really tough. I mean, the whole thing about Garchomp is that it evolves uh, to Garchomp and gets really powerful. Um, but they just took all my experience. That's... <sighs> well, you know, okay. I'm not sure what they were doing there, but that's what they wanted to do. All right, maybe I can help here. Pikachu already got him. Talon's there. Okay. We got him. He's, he's having to use everything to get out, but he's not going to get out. Just keeping my attack speed word up. Word up! <laughs> Sounds like I was saying that, but I wasn't. Okay, Absol's here. I don't mind this. Slow smoke. Earthquake. I think we get them both. Yeah. Big win, top lane. And we're just going to take this real quick. It's going to be gone. Alright, got my chomp. Heading bottom. If, can I make it bottom in time? I'm going to try. They're on it, but maybe I can run there fast enough. I'm going to try to get there. Looks like they're just letting that go in. I would really like to get this for the team. They got some burst near it. Got it. Got it, got it. Those defenses are really nice for these, you know, prolonged fights. So, pretty good for us. Taking this real quick. Scoring. All right, got to get out of here. Taking all the XP I can. If it's the enemies, it's mine now. Right? That's what you want. All the XP. Just take it. They broke goal. I have my slow spoke in three seconds, so. It's a pretty good fight for us. They don't have their Unites, so they're in trouble. If they have their Unites there, they can kind of fight us back pretty hard, but otherwise, they're in trouble. So, we've seen some pretty decent, uh... Pretty decent situation so far with this build. It's working out pretty good for us. Yeah, I'm gonna head top. I just want my jungle. I really would like red buff, obviously. That's like huge for me. I don't know when it's coming back. I don't know who has it. Who took it? Absol. Maybe Absol. He's got two buffs. Sounds like he KO'd somebody. Got my Unite back. So I can use it again in this fight, which I definitely would like to if there's anyone around. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna take this. Just huge damage on it. Push it down. Top lane's got 60 left. I'm, I'm gonna push with this here. That's my plan. Oh, we got Unites. Let's go, dude. You guys gotta run. You better run. I'm just trying to push this in, and if they let me do it, you know, cool. Oh, so close. So close. That's two that I distracted the whole time there, though, so we gotta get Dread here. If we don't get Dread, I'll be shocked. Ooh, Snore might have got that. Oh, he's gonna say, that was a good Unite from Snore there. I like that. We got it, though. Close. I was close to getting that right there. Uh, my Earthquake, I could have upgraded to Earthquake Plus, but I only think it increases slow. It might increase damage slightly. It's actually been a little while since I looked at the stats of uh, Garchomp here. I looked at what the plus moves do. I guess I should say, not the stats. I was looking at the stats earlier. Come on, you two. Level 14 here. 
at this corefish, I think. I'll have my Unite again for Zap. No, close to 14. Not 14 yet. Close. I mean, a fight here is good for us. We can win this. Oops. Bad. We got that, though. Sorry, guys. I kind of slipped up my, my move there. I apologize. I'm definitely ready to, you know, assassinate anyone who comes up here. This is ours, though. Snore is pushing it a little bit. Absol's coming. If Absol makes its way here... Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm not afraid of you. Let's go. I want Rotom, but I also want to KO every single one of you. That's what I want first. Alright, we got that. They'll, they might let this push in. Uh, this fight is like... I, I would love it if my team was all here and then I just emits that. No, they let it go in. All right. We wait. We wait for Pika. Two. One. Perfect move. Unite. You're gone. When t uh, Garchomp's using its Unite, don't run in a straight line. You got to zigzag or something because otherwise it just it catches you the whole way. I know you united, but you're not going to win this. Oh, no, now maybe you will. Now with the buddy. All I was doing there, really, is just fighting so that they can't get to the objective. That's it. That's all I'm doing there. Whether I get KO'd or don't get KO'd, I just want my team to be able to get that. Ooh, nice job, Talon. Stop that big score there, actually. It was pretty good. They're way behind, though, so it's going to be really hard for them to come back here. That's a dig build, man. Dig in that jungle. That was fun. That was really fun. Garchomp is so... Garchomp's always been so fun, and right now it's also really good. And what a world to be able to say that Garchomp's good now. I never thought I'd see the day. I really didn't. Like, when, when was it ever going to get good? But it finally got there. So I, salu I salute them for making Garchomp viable. It's very fun. And it's, it needs, it's funny because you're looking at Garchomp and you're saying, well, this is kind of what it was doing before. And it's true. It kind of is. It's just a little bit better in every way. And because of that, it's good. You're done. Even though Talon scores. I mean, they're going to score bottom, but whatever. We're, we're so far ahead. Absol's the only other one with points. He's rotating around. Let's fight. You want to fight? I mean, there's 15 seconds left. Let's just fight. No? All right, he's going to try to score. I don't know if he's got a goal getter. I don't know what he's... I, I, I appreciate the hustle, you know? Never give up. Never surrender. We got the galaxy quest of Absols over there. All right, so there's a little dig earthquake. I mean, that was friggin' fun, and it set up some really good ganks. It was hard for people to fight me in there. The slow smoke, I think, actually helped with that a little bit. I am going to use... Dragon Claw. I can still use Slow Smoke because I do think it's very good. Maybe I'll do Dragon Claw Slow Smoke and we'll see what we can do there. All right, let's play another one here. Play it again, Sam. Oh yeah, GG everybody. Everyone played well too. That's not just me. My team was playing well too. Yeah, 100k damage almost. So 97,000 damage with, you know, 13 KOs. That's pretty, pretty legit. Our Pikachu did good Pikachu things too. You know, 80,000 damage for Pika, so that's legit, too. I'm going to make the dangerous decision to drop my scope lens for a buddy barrier in this one. This might not be the call, but I'm going to give it a shot here anyway. Heading back into the jungle. Detective Garchomp that should have been a cowboy, but don't worry, cowboys are coming. And, ooh, I love this, this setup. This is a great team. I love this. Wiggly, slow bros. Or, yeah, this is... Ooh. No, don't don't get rid of my my bro. My slow No, no, not Greninja, no. No. <laughs> this is so much worse. <laughs> Look, it doesn't mean we're gonna lose or anything, but it's just so much worse. Uh okay. Let's give this a shot here. Um Gardevoir, Cinderace, those are ones that I'm gonna want to grab here. Trevenant is actually a pretty good one for me because it stays alive a long time, but it just lets me wear up my attacks more and more. To fix my cam here. Why is my lighting so bad today? Where is it coming from? Ready? All right, Go! back in the jungle here. Sandy side, which means Lillipup walks down. Ooh, 
That means your natural rotation, if you just follow the uh, Pokemon, brings you back down to the bottom lane here. But I actually think I want to go top lane because uh, being able to combo with a Wiggly is just mean. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Ooh, and the enemy Phantom's up there. And that's an easy, easy KO. So I'm heading top. Just letting him know. Take that, Buffaloons. All right. What happened here? Oh, okay. Bring him right here. Oh, Phantom. Oh, get me away from Cindy. Yep. 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 We take all the farm, re-engage in this fight. Get one, get two, come on, three. Oh, that's so close to three, that's so close. My team almost had that for three. Really, really close. We definitely won that fight, but it's a bummer getting KO'd there, so. Oh no, and they gave it up. What happened? All right, well their junglers stayed for a while, so that means I could run to their jungle side here in a sec and counter jungle. So Cinder's still there, unless they gave their jungle to somebody else, which they may have. Cinder's heading back to jungle now. He's gonna go through top. Let me try to do this. What if I just run there right now? Oh, he's already at it. Took it. Slow smoke. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. It was so close. It was so close. Almost had it. Didn't work. Sorry, team. If they didn't uh, move back there and attack, they, I get that, but... You know, their Gardevoir was smart. I don't know if they're working together or not. That's a play that you don't often see solo, so maybe they're communicating, or maybe that Gardevoir was just sharp. Because it was a good play. I think I have that normally. I'm going to be heading bottom here. Just going to get myself my Chomp, and then I'm going. They're not on Dread, so we're okay. Here we go. Oh, bummer. Fine, let's just start this like this. You go. I'm starting to take this. If they come in, I'll push them back, but I don't think I even need to. No, we have this. Nice try, power up punch. I saw you there, buddy. Slow smoke and the push. They're gone. Goodbye. Goal gone. Just push him away from where he wants to go. So top worked out pretty good for them, but bottom worked out really poorly. So, you know, it's a trade. To trade. I think early dread is still kind of paramount. And they're letting us take this again, so I think we just score here again. I don't have anything to score, but it just charges my unite, you know. I'm gonna head into their jungle. Grab this. Grab this. Oops, I see Cinder there. Cinder's not a good fight for me. Everybody's here, actually. Uh, all right, fine.
What did I get? Oh, it wouldn't even let me attack. I only got one. Bummer. That's almost like, it's one of those moments where it's almost a team wipe, but it's not. <laughs> it's almost, but it's not. They were, they were catching me, so I figured, you know what? You want to fight? Let's fight. And they won. So now I think Rotom is, has a little more uh, strategic advantage for us than Dread. I would rather have top. We don't need anyone. No one's like gate kept in an evolution. Both are good, but Rotom kind of pushes for us, and uh, I think I'd rather have that right now because we've already scored a lot in the bottom lane. So I'm going to head top here. Push that Trevenant out of the way. I don't know, guys. Yeah, there we go. No way. How did it catch? Disappointing. All right. Either way. Multiple Unites thrown down. Still get one of them. Maybe two? Maybe just one. No, two. Oh, Lucario left. Oh yeah, he's low. He's low. That was one heck of a fight. Before, ooh, that was nice if it wasn't for that future site. That was nice, Lucario. I love that close combat play there. But Gardevoir got you with the future site. Okay. Greninja and I are looking at the same XP. It's okay. Ooh, Trevenant with the offlane 50. We're not going to be able to stop it. It's a good score. What a goal. Nice. Okay. I'll score. All three are bottom, so it means no one's going to land on me here. Yeah, I know to retreat, buddy. I know the play. Nice. It's broken, but I mean, I think I still think we kind of got the better of that situation. I could be wrong, but I think we did. I'm gonna be 15 by Zap. Pretty big with both buffs. This is a, this is a big for me. Oh, don't take that from me. You don't need red, dude. You don't need red. All right. Level 15 Garchomp with red. That's what else. That's what I'd like. Yeah. These two are the ones I want, so I will dive the back line for them. Definitely want you. You, not as much. I'm not too concerned with you, but... I mean, I'll fight you, but... I definitely wanted those other ones. Nice. Wiped them out. You're getting top. Okay, I'll take center. Ooh, I might not get this. Got it. Just barely. Using that <laughs> Dragon Claw for a little mobility there. All right, retreat, everybody. There's no reason to continue this fight. Just get out of there. If we don't get out of there, I mean... A KO is not bad from Zarina here, and he is distracting, giving us time, but, like, we need to retreat. Yeah, we need to defend. I, I agree with Wiggly. Defend the goal zone. He's right. It's the only... Only play we got, because they can push in. It's going to be hard now. We got me and Greninja coming back, and Wiggly, really. I mean, it looks like they got multiple heading center. They can only score once top. So, I think kind of let top happen, basically. And then fight in the center here. Because they can only do that one time. But center, they can do a bunch if we get it wrong. Guard coming in. Guard's not going to score that. GG.
We had that huge overdunk top, and I think a big one bottom too. I think we we're up by a couple hundred. I'm pretty sure at this point. But that was a fun match. That was a really fun. Man, Garchomp is so fun right now, you guys. Seriously, so fun right now. Yeah, we're up by a lot. GG, everybody. GG, good game. Everyone played well. GG, GG. Let's see. Yeah, 94,000 damage. That's a little more in line with what I normally do with the dragon build is around 100k. Uh, and you got to see a lot of those situations where you just push people around a little too aggressive at times in their jungle, but I always want them to be scared of what I'm going to do. Uh, I like using Buddy Barrier on this build a little bit more. I think I just like Buddy Barrier in general on Garchomp because I like the ability to really engage in one of those team fights. Not only can I engage because I've got that big buddy barrier, but an ally can as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. I seriously think Garchomp is doing it right now. Like what a great place for Garchomp. All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you very much. I appreciate you all. Goodbye. Mwah.